In this week's video, we're going to take a look at creating bookmarks bookmarks in Kofax, the PDF, and then creating or arranging those bookmarks in a, an outline form, and then creating a table of contents from those bookmarks. To create the bookmarks, on the left-hand side, select and click the Bookmarks panel. Here we have it. If you do not see the bookmark panel, you can come down below the icons that are here and right click. And when you do, please note that you can turn off or on the panels that will appear on the left side. So again, I've selected the bookmark panel, bookmarks panel. And to do so, or to create the bookmarks, click on the select tool, the arrow. Highlight the text that you wish to bookmark. Once it is highlighted, simply come back to your bookmarks panel and click the little plus sign to create the bookmark and press your enter key, bookmark created. You can continue to create simply by highlighting and clicking. You can even just continue on. Oh, I didn't do that one properly, so let me undo that one. We'll try that again. That's better. And then as I continue to highlight and click the plus sign, I can continue throughout the document scrolling down. We'll just do these last final ones. Again, highlight and add a new and as you can see, if you're going through the document, it's not that difficult. And then finally, my last one. I'll press my Enter key. And then select the Hand tool to turn off selecting or creating the bookmarks. To create an outline form of your bookmarks, you simply place your mouse on the bookmark in question. So we're going to do overview of problem. I'm going to click and hold. And when I do, I can bring this up. And once I move my mouse up, you'll see that it turns into the uh, black arrow. And there's a line that you can see now underneath of general argument. And when I let go, I have created a subtopic. I can click the next one and then drag up. If I want it to, I could let go here. This one would then be a subtopic of overview of problem. I move to the left somewhat and it creates it on the same level. So you can create multiple levels doing this. Again, I'm just simply coming up here. Click and hold, drag up, let go, and the same. So again, to create the bookmark, the select tool, highlight the text and then click the add bookmark. Here we have a completed bookmark. If you click on a particular bookmark, of course, you go to that bookmark within the document. It's kind of handy. If I go back to general argument here. To create a table of contents from this bookmark structure that we've created, I come back to the bookmarks panel to the gear. I click the gear and in the gear options I can of course as you can see new bookmarks collapse uh, go to the bookmark. I can create a table of contents right here. Click this. What levels or how many levels do I wish to display? I'll do the two level. Do I want to different symbol line, etc. for this, the page number display to the right, etc. Here's the current or the content page that we'll create. Content title we'll leave as table of contents. We can then click the appearance. Again, click the appearance button. And do I want the font Times New Roman? We'll change the font size to let's say 14 and the color. We can click OK. Okay. 
use page below as reference, add to page one, or position the position is before, etc. Once you have configured your table of contents in the settings dialog box, click OK. And you now have a table of contents based upon the bookmarks that you created in your bookmarks panel. And as you can see, the table of contents is also linked and you can jump around in the document in that manner. I hope you found this video useful and as always, thank you for watching.